dear students greetings from learn to lead academy supercharge your math 2023 preparation with us new batch starting from september 5th join our online crash course and conquer math 2023 experienced faculties a thoughtfully designed syllabus and killer shortcuts a white you enroll now and kick start your journey towards success with learn to lead academy don't forget to join us our online crash course from september 5th in this video we are going to discuss may math 2023 question paper based problems so under may math 2023 questions there are 40 questions under mathematical skills here we have selected few questions for you now see the first question the average age of a b and c is 53 years see if the average age of a b and c is 53 years and you should be able to calculate the total age of a b and c it is nothing but 3 into 53 so 159 years next if the average age of a and b be 47 years and the total age of a and b is what 94 years and that of b and c be 28 year, 58 years and the total age of b and c is 58 into 2 what is 58 into 2 116 years they are asking what is the age of c c now so we know that the total age of a b and c is 59 years if i add a plus b that is the age of a and b and also the age of b and c okay it is what 94 plus 116 so 94 plus 116 210 years okay 210 years for this a b and c we can substitute the total age as 159 plus b and b is equal to 210 minus 159 So what is 210 minus 159? 51 years is your answer. So the age of B is 51 years. So you should be able to know the average concept and keep it in mind that you should solve the complete questions within less than 30 seconds. So the practice will help you. Okay, only will only the practice will help you to improve your speed. Now see the next question. The product of two two-digit numbers is three thousand two eighty-five. So if we multiply the two two-digit numbers, we'll get the answer as three thousand two eighty-five. The product of their units digit is fifteen. See, just check with the options five into three fifteen. This can be the answer. Seven into five thirty-five. Okay. So and also seven into five thirty-five. So option A and option D can be the options answer, right? And then and their tens digit is twenty-eight. See, if I multiply all the options, right, all the tens digit in the options, it will it is twenty eight, right? We have to find the numbers. So if I multiply the product of two digit number is what three thousand two hundred and eighty five. So if I take forty five into seventy three, right? Forty five into seventy three. See, I can split this forty five as forty plus five. Okay, what is five into seventy three? See, if I multiply a number by five, it is enough if we take the half of that value. So half of that seventy three is what thirty, and then thirteen thirty six point five. So it is three sixty five. Okay, right now four into seventy three. What is four into seventy three? So just four into seventy five make four into seventy. It is two thousand eight hundred plus two thousand eight hundred plus four into four seven zero. I know twenty uh, eight, right? So forty into seventy is what two thousand eight hundred, or four into seventy. It is a uh, If I take alone four into seventy, if I take two eighty, right? Two eighty, and then four into three. What is four three? Is what twelve? So two ninety two, and multiply it by ten. Two nine two zero. So two nine two zero. So if I add all the values, I'll get three thousand two eighty five as my answer. So option A is my answer. Okay, option A is my answer. See, keep it in mind that you should be able to solve this kind of questions in within thirty seconds. So practice is very important. Now, if the simple interest for five years be equal to forty percentage of the principal, it will be equal to the principal after how many years? See, let us take that principal as hundred. Okay, principal. Let us take that. I have invested hundred rupees, and simple interest for five years it is equal to what? 
40 percentage of the principal. What is 40 percentage of the principal? I have taken here principal as 100. So 40 percentage of 100 is 40. Okay, this is the simple interest for 5 years. For 1 year, it is what? 40 by 5, 8 rupees. Now, it will be equal to the principal after. After how many years, the simple interest will be equal to the principal. So, multiples of 8 near 100 is what? Near 100 is 96. So, 96, it becomes 12 times after 12 years. And still we have 4 rupees, right? 4 rupees, that is half. So, 12 years, 6 months. Okay, after 12 years, 6 months, it will be equal to the principal value. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Hello students. Greetings from Learn to Lead Academy. Congratulations to Satvika, Keshavan, Jeevitan and Manish Kumar, the toppers of MAT 2023 at Learn to Lead Academy. Satvika J achieved an impressive score of 766 followed by Keshavan M with 642, Jeevitan R with 640 and Manish Kumar with 638. Are you aiming to excel in MAT 2023-24? Enroll now for our online crash course designed to boost your preparation and maximize your chances of success. Don't miss out on the opportunity to join our September, December, Feb or May MAT 2024 batches. Start your journey towards achieving your dream score today. Enroll through the link provided in the description box or you can contact directly 8870460080. Book your slot now. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.